Hey, curl friends, and welcome back to Coconuts. And today we're going to be doing things a little differently. I'm going to be sharing story times with you guys. I call this Hair Chronicles. I have been a protective stylist for over a decade, and I have heard so many stories throughout my profession. And I just want to gossip a little bit and spread people business, you know. You know how it is when you go to a salon, you get a good hairstyle and you get some good gossip too, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and spill some tea of what I've experience throughout the years now disclaimer is i do not agree or disagree with any of these stories i will be telling and these stories may or may not be true so don't come for me also none of these stories will reflect the client i am working on it has nothing to do with this client so before i get into the story let me just let you guys know i will be doing a sewing protective style on her using mongolian cocoa yaki straight hair extensions this is going to be a seamless blend she will be keeping it in for a few months to get some good growth if you need help getting your hair to grow very very long and thick head to coconuts.com and grab you some great natural products that's going to promote fast hair growth while you protective style so let's get into this juicy story trigger warning for anyone who is sensitive to any topics um, surrounding domestic abuse or abuse in general so my client came to me a few years ago for a bomb sewing because I was known as the sewing queen even before I was doing natural hair. I was just sewing in hairstyles. I was the baddest in Miami, okay? So she came to me and she was so eager to get her sewing because she was taking pictures with her boyfriend. I don't remember what holiday was coming up. I think it was Valentine's Day or something like that. Of course, I gave her a beautiful sewing. It looked so natural and she was so happy. I think a few days later, she called me and she was literally like, hi, can you help me take my hair out? And I was very confused because I was like, girl, I done laid your hair down. You shouldn't be calling me to take this out for another two, three months. Why are you calling me two days later? So she was just like, girl, I got into a fight and some of the hair came out and I need to just take it all out so I could just shave it down and put a wig on. And I'm like, girl, who are you out here beating up? Are you out here beating up girls? Like, what's going on? I'm thinking she went to the club, got in a fight. Maybe she got in a fight at Walmart or Target. I didn't know what was happening. So I was just like, okay, yeah, girl, you can come in. But what happened? She was like, I got into a fight with my man. And I'm like, what? Um, I remember seeing her man and he was pretty big and she was pretty small. So I was like, girl, you can't fight no man. You mean he attacked you? And she was like, nah, girl, we was fighting. We be fighting. And I was just at that point, I was like, let me mind my business. Even though I'm spreading her business now, you know what I'm saying? Back then I was like, let me mind my business. So when she came to me, I was just like, okay, let me just cut her hair out or whatever. No big deal. But when I saw her hair, I was just like, oh my gosh, honey, were you attacked by a wild beast? It was, I was shocked. I was instantly, I think I, I think I cried a little bit because it was, what I saw was just, oh my gosh, her hair was literally, some of her leave out was pulled out straight from the scalp. And as you can see, under a sewing, I have to braid down the hair. So the braids were pulled out. It, like he literally yanked her hair and her, her some of her scalp came with it. There were spots, there were bald spots. There were little spots of inf inflammation and uh, specks of blood. And I, when I seen it, I was just like, girl, um, are you truly okay? Did you contact the authorities? Um, did you think about going to the hospital? She, she brushed it off. She was just like, oh, no, girl, it wasn't that bad. It don't really hurt that bad. I just need it cut out. And so I'm, I'm just going to shave my hair and wear a wig. And I, at first, I wanted to convince her not to shave her hair, but she already shaved some of the leave out. She was just like over it. And so I just cut her hair out and... She brought a wig that she had bought from the beauty supply store. I helped her put it on and style it on her. And she went about her business. And actually, I don't even remember seeing her again after that. I think because um, I witnessed her 
in that vulnerable state. She just didn't want to be my client anymore. I don't know what happened, but I wasn't surprised because I witnessed something similar to that. I did another client's hair. And after I did her hair later that night, she called me and she was just like, hey girl, can you fix my hair? And I was confused again. I was like, what happened to your hair? Um, did you not like the curls, the parting? What was it? And when she came back to me, her hair was covered in milkshake. She told me that on her way home, her man asked her to buy her some fast food. She got her his meal. And when she returned home, she realized he realized that she did not get his particular sauce that he needed for his burger and fries. And he snapped. He literally threw milkshake all over her brand new hairstyle. And I had to help wash out her hair and literally redo her hair that night. So I'm sharing these stories because my channel is helping women and, and men just grow out their hair and really just level up in their personal life when in regards to beauty. And growing out your hair is part of just growing out your confidence. We all have our hair goals. We all want long, beautiful, thick hair, healthy hair. So it's part of a whole level up process. And some people may not be on board for your level up process. Usually it's friends, usually it's family members, coworkers, especially when you're doing it the natural journey way, when you're literally growing out your natural hair, you're not using any chemicals. A lot of haters will spring up and try to convince you not to do it tell you that they don't like it, it doesn't look that great. And it's just all to deter you as you level up yourself in your appearance, in your image. And sometimes those haters are not women. Sometimes they're men and sometimes they're your man. So be careful of that and watch out, watch out for those signs. If you get your hair done and you go home and you love your hair and you love your stylist and what they did for you and your man is literally like, I don't like it. I don't like when you wear a weave and just pay attention to the tone of his voice because he may be, you know, sneak hating on you. And that can probably turn violent one day and they can literally try to sabotage your hair growth, sabotage your beauty and your image. So be very mindful of that. If you're in a situation like that, stress is not good for your hair journey. So get out of that situation and put yourself in your hair first. So getting back to what I just installed, her hair is seamless. It looks beautiful. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can learn how to get longer, stronger, thicker hair, and you can get more hair chronicles and story times. I have so many stories to share. Make sure you comment on this video and tell me what you think.